Well, Kelly, the 30-year fix just crossed over 7%, 7.1% to be exact, according to Mortgage News Daily. Take a look at this roller coaster over the last several months. Rates went over 7% at the end of October, which immediately caused home buyers to pull back pretty dramatically. Then in December, they started coming down again, all the way to 6% by January. That caused a big jump in buyers in January, signing contracts on existing homes, so-called pending home sales, up an unexpectedly strong 8% month to month. But the past four weeks, they have been rough. Rates have moved 100 basis points higher since the start of February. So if you're buying a $400,000 home with 20% down on a 30-year fixed, your monthly payment is now roughly 230 bucks more than it would have been just a month ago. We've already seen mortgage applications from home buyers drop dramatically last week to a 28-year low. So we thought at the start of this year that the housing market was beginning a recovery. It appears that recovery has now stalled. Rising fears that inflation is not getting in check is pushing bond yields higher, as you all know, and mortgage rates right along with them. Kelly. Wow. I can't believe how much we've come full circle on that. Diana, real quickly, what was the high last year we hit on the mortgage rate? It was 7.37% at okay. the end of October. Okay. All right. Diana, thank you. Diana Olick.